Towards the end of the 8th century AD, a young boy was growing up in the rice fields of Kerala. Except, unlike other boys of his age, he was deeply immersed in the study of the Vedas. By the tender age of 12, he had internalized the core teaching of Advaita, non-duality, of absolute monoism, one simple reality, one truth, one God, and was now the Adi Shankracharya. Having fully experienced his spiritual heritage through a deep study of the scriptures, he proceeded to further experience this heritage by physically visiting the great places of learning and holy tirthas, by crisscrossing the country on foot. His journey began up north, in the mighty Himalayas, the abode of the gods. The Adi Shankracharya is said to have visited Kashmir many times. He first visited this Shiva temple, which was said to be as old as time itself. While no exact date has been identified, the original structure is said to have been built around 220 BC, with many an alteration and addition at later dates. What is however unique about this temple is its architecture. When observed from a distance, the temple looks like a huge shivling, reaching out to the sky, almost touching the clouds. Inside it also is an enormous shivling, which is touched by the first rays of the sun as it rises each morning. It is here, in these tranquil and beautiful surroundings, that the Adi Shankracharya lived and meditated in perfect harmony with his surroundings. This tiny cave, a little below the temple, was his humble abode. Though it was a brief association, it was strong enough for the temple to be known by his name ever since. For perhaps it was here that he fully experienced the depths of monoism, both within and without.